Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. This is a reaction for El Camino, a Breaking Bad story. No, a Breaking Bad movie. Um, I love Breaking Bad. It's probably one of my favorite series of all time. Uh, I've been trying to watch Better Call Saul. I've seen all the seasons of Better Call Saul. I'm still waiting for, what, season four or five? Um, whenever that comes out. I think it says it's coming out soon enough, but... Uh, so, Breaking Bad... Uh, we know Jesse's in it, and I think apparently follows what happens to Jesse after he gets out of um, the little neo-Nazi camp, and uh, you know he busts through the gate. And, um. So, yeah, uh, this trailer really doesn't have a lot. It's Skinny Pete, which it was one of it's one of his friends. Uh, the other is Badger, who we don't see. We don't really know what happens to everyone. So Skyler and the White family, we don't know what happens. Um, Marie, we don't know what happens to her. We know Skinny Pete's still alive. Um, Badger, assuming he's still alive, we might see him. But um, yeah, so we're just gonna get right into this. I don't know what to tell you. I ain't said like five hundred times already. I have no idea where he is. Don't know where he's headed either. North, south, west, east, Mexico, the moon. I don't have a clue. But yo, even if I did, who wouldn't tell you? Because I've been watching the news, same as everybody else. I seen that little cage of his they kept him in. I heard about what all they did to him to make sure he kept cooking. Looking rough. So sorry. I don't know what to tell you. No way, I'm helping you people put Jesse Pinkman back inside a cage. El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. 10, 10, 11, 19, so October. Nice. Nice. So that's that. And that's hopefully we get a little bit more um, something with Jesse. Because I know Aaron Paul, obviously, he's a little older now, and he looks a little different than he did at the end of Breaking Bad. Um, now, I don't know if this is supposed to be a direct sequel type thing, because, like I said, he's aged quite a bit since, what, 2014, I think, was the end of Breaking Bad, or sometime before that. So... Yeah. Now, I don't know if, uh... Wow. Brian Cranston's gonna be in it. I mean, you can't really have Breaking Bad without it, for the most part. But, I mean, you have Better Call Saul, which is Breaking Bad, essentially, without Brian Cranston. Um, and at this point, he's presumably been dead for a while. We might see him in flashbacks or something like that, but... Obviously, he's not gonna be part of the story. It's pretty much Jesse's story. Um, I'm pretty much looking forward to it. Maybe he'll have interaction with Skyler or um, Walter Jr. Or, like I said, we don't know how far this is in the future. So Holly should be... Holly is the Skyler's daughter, the one who is pretty much born almost at the end of the series. Um, so... It's... You don't know who's going to be in it. They really haven't said anything apart from this. So hopefully it'll bring back a lot of faces that we know and love. Except for Skylar's face because people seem to hate her. Uh, <laughs> I mean, she was kind of annoying. And um, But anyways, that was El Camino Breaking Bad movie trailer. Are you guys excited? I know I am. Um... October 11th, so mark that day on your calendar, people. <laughs> I, uh, hopefully, I don't think Better Call Saul would be out before that, but hopefully, either, even if it does, I, Better Call Saul is not that large of a series, it's only like, what, 12 episodes or something like that, 45 minutes long, takes maybe like a day to get through. I binge watched all of Breaking Bad from start to finish. That took like two weeks. 
Uh, of course, I had work, so I had to, you know. But yeah, let me know if, if you're excited. Uh, and sorry, I don't seem excited enough. I literally just woke up. So I'm trying to muster up excitement. <laughs> um, anyways, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, bitches.